for a live unboxing of this UDI RC Rally Drift Car. And because it's live, I don't know anything about it. And I haven't opened it yet. It's all still sealed up from the factory. I haven't even watched anybody else's videos about this. So I do not know what to expect other than they claim 30 mile an hour. I think it's supposed to drift. Um, brushless motor. Comes with different tyres by the looks of it. Blah, blah, blah. Enough waffle. Let's crack it open and have a look what's in there. And then afterwards, after we've done our little review... Then I will get onto the comments. Hopefully, if my iPad wants to behave, I can't get my video up in a minute. So if that comes in, we'll get a few comments afterwards. Uh, but for now, let's crack it open, get it out of the box, and hopefully it's going to be good. So if you want to know where you can get this from, by the way, guys, or you want to know all the techno babble, I'm going to put a link to this down below in the description box. Uh, so I'm not very good with specifications and techno babble, and most of you guys don't care. So for those of you that do care, you can have a look at the description box down below. Uh, right, side cutters, let's get him out of there and have a look. I know you guys all want to see the car. You don't want to see any long-windedness. And boom, there we go. There's the car. And it's actually bigger than I was expecting. Plastic chassis, double wishbone suspension. We'll get the body off in a sec. We'll just donk that there for a second. And then we'll dig into this and see what else we get in the box. So we've got the controller. And we've also got... Yeah, probably charger and some... Ah, and the drift wheels. Look at that. Get that there so you guys can see it. That's what you're here for. You want to see the drift rally car. So we get these drift wheels, we're going to put them on in a minute, we'll run it on these first, see how it goes on these, then we'll chuck these on. A little tool kit here, get some spare links, screwdriver, little hex wrenchy thingamajig for changing your wheels. And there we got the charger, and it's USB one, so you shouldn't plug it into your computer. I always do, but everyone tells me not to. Right, car, let's rip the body off and have a look, but first of all, check this out. Music. Do 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 it's got film on there, so after you've crashed it a few times, it looks messy, pull that film off. We've got headlights by the looks of it. Yes, we've got headlights. So this is attached to the body, so try not to yank it off. And we've got brushless motor, servo, two in one unit, which has got speed controller and motor, all built into one unit by the looks of it. A proper servo with the three wires, often it's a little five wire thing, so we've got proper servo. It's a whatever sort of battery. It's not an iPo. It's a Lion or whatever they are. Same battery that you find in Teslas, I think. All right, enough waffle. Let's have a look what we've got in here. Probably we need three or four AAAs. Ah, get it open. Right, four AAAs in there. A couple of people said they don't like the live unboxing because it's a bit long-winded. They don't want to stand there for two hours watching. Uh, but the thing is, I'll do these quite quick. We should have it over and done with in about 10 minutes. And then the rest of it is answering some questions. Uh, get in there. Why won't it close? Jesus, that is tight. That's what she said. Jesus Christ. <laughs> People tell me off saying, you shouldn't use God's name in vain. Well, I'm not. Right, that's in, radio on, and then we plug the car in, and we've got an on button here, hopefully you can see what's going on there, on button there, oh, so steering, pretty quick, and as proportional, what proportional means is that you can steer progressively, if you've got a lot of the toy grade ones, you've got all one way, all the other way, or centre, 
But with a hobby grade RCs, anything in between, it should be the same with the power. Let's see how it rips. Oh, nothing. Well, that's good, isn't it? Why does that not work? Oh, that's a good start, isn't it, guys, eh? Doesn't even work. What the hell? What's that do? Right. I don't know, guys. <laughs> Why does it not work? Have I done it wrong, or is it a dodgy car? It definitely doesn't work. Let's try off and on again, see what happens. That's the thing with the Libos, guys. What you see is what you get. There's no editing. If something's faulty, that's what you guys see. All right, so we're flashing. No, still doesn't work. Hmm. Wonder why that is, people. Why would it not work? Have I done something wrong? I'm trying to get the comments up on the iPad, but it's not happening. So I can read the comments on the, on the phone. So come on, guys, what's up with it? Why is it not working? <laughs> Why is it not driving? We've got some different controls on here. We've got the steering trim. Someone says rebind it. Well, it is already binded because otherwise it wouldn't steer. Uh, steering dual rate. Well, what that does I means you can steer a little bit, or if you put it all the way up, it's going to steer more. Uh, throttle reverse. Nope. Nope. Not working. Luckily though, we do have another one. We have another one over there. This one is the Isheen version. So we'll whip that one out of the box and have a look if that one's any better. Someone said shut it off and take the battery out. All right, we'll try that. So battery out, radio off. Let's try putting the radio on first. Sometimes with some cars, you put the radio on first. Not normally. Normally, well, no, normally you put the... The radio on first and then the car. But on a couple of cars, it is rare, but you're supposed to put the car on first. Let's try that. Made a little noise that time. No, still nothing. Still nothing. No. I mean, the only thing I could think is, it could could it be that the batteries are not charged? Could it be that? I mean, it could possibly be that, couldn't it? All right, but what, we do, what we'll do is we will put the battery on charge, and while we're doing that, we're going to unbox the other one. So, charger, plug that into there, and then this end here, we can plug it in there. I always get told off when I plug it into the computer. So we'll plug it in there this time. And while that's going on, we'll move this lot to the side for now. Get rid of all that. Get rid of all that lot. Don't need the battery, don't need any of that. All can go over there. <laughs> Let it sit for a bit. <laughs> all control delete, someone says. <laughs> someone says piece of shite. Smash the like, everyone says Dan's bearded RC. <laughs> Smash the bell at it. <laughs> it's a beautiful body. Someone said, Yeah, I mean, it looks good. It doesn't go very good, though. So there's a link down below where you can not buy it. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at the other one. So this one here is for another unboxing. That's not for today. Uh, they did send me two, but this is a different brand. This one, this one here is Esheen. And I think it's the same. I don't know if it is or not, but I think it is just a different brand name. So let's crack this one open and have a look if this one's any better. And I haven't put a link in for this because I wasn't planning on getting this car out. So there's no link to this one down below. After the stream though, I will put a link in. Right, maybe this one doesn't work either. Well, there we go, it looks exactly the same. Oh, don't fall over, where are you going? Someone says, how big is the car? I think it's one, I don't know, what is it? It says scale-wise, it says one sixteenth scale. Right, let's get into this one a bit quicker. Crack him open, boys. 
Let's get in there. Hopefully this one's going to be the best one. Alright, so it does look exactly the same. That one's 16, that one's 15. So it looks identical. Let's have a look in there. I think it's going to be exactly the same, I reckon. What do you reckon, guys? Is this one going to work? Is this one going to work? Oh, oh, this one comes with two batteries at least. So, well, let's put it on the LiPo checker and see what the what the charge is in here. Just out of curiosity. So, 50%, that should work. And this one. Oh, 31%. All right, well, let's give it a good chance and give it the 50% charge one. Let's get that one in there. That's the trouble when we're doing live unboxings. We haven't got time to charge it. And obviously, I could unbox it first and charge it and then pretend to unbox it but then I'm kind of cheating because then I, I could see if it works and I already get a head start on it this way I haven't got a head start what you see is what you get which I know a lot of you guys want to see get these batteries in there Lip close is better on that one. All right, radio on. And plug the car in. Turn that one off. And car on. All right, that one works. Oh, it's pretty lively. And <laughs> then you got it wrapped up around the electrics. So steering. Same as the other one, so we get the trim in the right place. Get that centered off like that, lovely jubbly. All right, let's get the body on. Maybe the other one's gonna to come to life once it charges up a little bit, we'll see. But you wanna be careful not to wrap any wires around the wheels like I just did. All right, all right guys, we're, we're promising. And it is a rally car, so I'm guessing, seeing that it's a rally car, you should be able to jump it. So, as usual, we'll jump it straight off of the, off of the bench. It might survive, it might not, but if it breaks, we have, all, we have a parts department here. Right, let's go! Brandon. <laughs> right, you ready? Are you ready, guys? Here we go! Oh, it's a bit tricky one. It's pretty fast. It's it's hard one-handed. I can't quite reach this with my with my thumb. It's a bit of a. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty lively. I don't know if it's thirty mile an hour lively. Ah, oh, where's it? Ah, oh, where's it gone? There we are. There we are. There we go. <laughs> it's pretty lively. All right. Is there a way that I can, right. oh, I can, I can steer with this hand and hold you with the same hand? How does that work? Oh, that kind of works. Trying to drive and film at the same time with one hand is not easy, but we're doing it anyway. It's a little bit coggy. I've noticed with a lot of these brushless cars, they're a little bit coggy off the mark. Now, what coggy means when it's cogging is that the motor when, when you put an acceleration on, it doesn't know if it's going forwards or backwards. It takes a little while for it to figure it out, and then once it figures it out, it goes. With better motors, more expensive ones, you don't really get that problem so much. And also, if you have a censored motor, you don't get that problem at all. So, this one, if we go slow, look. It's, yeah, it does. So look, it can't really fully make its mind up. It's a bit coggy, but once you get going, once you put the, the throttle on, the gas, it goes. Oh, but I'm doing that one-handed, and it's it's handing pretty good on the old carpet. <laughs> All right, let's get it in here and see what it's like on the more slippery stuff. Hey, you got the laminator there, look. 
Oh man, one handed is difficult with this. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Ah right, right. oh, man, I can't do it one handed. I need someone else here to film. Hey! Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, we're stuck. Uh oh. Come back. Uh, right. Oh no! Uh oh, we have a problem. We have a problem. We have a problem, guys. What have we done? The steering has jammed. Oh no, we're back. We're back in action. It's popped in, now it's popped out again. We're good again. All right, staircase of doom, anyone? Who wants to see staircase of doom? Do, 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 do. Staircase of doom. All right, I'll get him there. Let's see how it holds up to the staircase of death. All right. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, ooh, that sounded nasty. Get Stemp in to help film. Yeah, Stemp's not here at the moment. I don't know where he is. We'll get the little drift tires on it in a minute and see how it goes. Ah, the thumb just doesn't quite reach it, so it's so difficult to steer. All right, let's get the, let's get the drift tires on it. I think you've seen enough. So, other than it being a bit coggy, it's doing pretty good. All right. Do we have any damage? I don't think so, not yet. Let's investigate. Live durability test, live unboxing. Who else does that, eh? Who else does it? Is anyone else out there doing live unboxings with RC cars? Well, you know where we saw it first. And I bet you guys, other people are gonna start following suit. <laughs> if they've got any sense, they won't though. <laughs> All right, so let's get the little wrenchy thing out. Get these tires off and get the drift tires on. Oh. So here's a drift tire and here is a normal tire look. So a drift tire they're made of plastic so that it slides, and these here are obviously rubber. So, oh look, we've got little fake disc brakes on there as well. So we get that, that on there. Nuttage in there. See, this is where if I edited the video, I could cut this piece out while I'm wrenching. Or at least speed it up, but because we're live, we can't. But at least you get to see live what it's all about. What do you reckon, guys? Do you reckon that other car's going to work once it's charged up, or do you think it's a dud? What do you reckon, guys? Will it work, or is it a dud? All right, let's get some comments on here. Zerik says it will work. Mike says, let's go, Brandon. <laughs> yes. Let's go, Brandon. We love that. That's brilliant. It's one of the best things all year. Go LiPo instead of Lion. We could try LiPo. Probably go a bit faster. Oh, Stuart says his one didn't work until the battery was fully charged. Someone says best cheap toolkit. I'll put a link down below to the tools that I use, actually, and they are pretty cheap. So if you look in the description box, you will see the tools that I use and links to them. And they are pretty cheap. Put laminators oak wheels on it. <laughs> Smack in a free S at Ethan. I don't know if that's going to work. All right, so drift tires are on. It has open diffs, but they're fairly tight. So I'm guessing with these drift tires on, 
they're going to be virtually locked up. Yeah, they are very tight diffs, so you might as well be locked with these tyres on. All right, body back on. Where's the body post gone? There's no oil in the shocks, look. I don't know if you can put oil in there. Maybe you can. Maybe you can't. It does show on here, look. Uh, no, they're not alloy shocks. I thought it was alloy shocks, but it's not. Someone say, when's the engine coming for the monster truck? Well, it should have come a few days ago. However, my hydraulic jack has a battery on it, and they found it before they shipped it. I think customs people or shipping people. And they're not allowed to ship it with a battery, so it didn't go on the flight. They took the battery off, and they're reshipping it without the battery. And it should land in the UK on Monday. And I should get it a couple of days after that, hopefully. So it should be here next week. All right, drift tyres are on. All right, let's donkey on the tripod so I can actually do it with two hands. All right, can you see that? Where can I put it where you can see more of the room? Put you there. Right, there we go. Make an Andy, make a mini RC Andy the Landy. Yes, that uh, I would love to do. Right, there we go. Yes. Right, on here, on here we have a gyro, I believe. And I know a lot of YouTubers, they find it better with it off. So, um, I think it's the same car as... Oh, where is it? Not this one, the bigger version. I don't know where it is. I think they're all upstairs. I think it's the same car as that, I believe, if I remember correctly. Right. Ready? Gyro off. Oh, that's better. See, look, it drifts now. All right, let's see if we can do a figure eight. Go away, seat. Uh -oh. All right, well, can we figure eight drift it? Right, here we go. Here we go, Brandon. Yes, we can do it. We can do it, sort of. That bubble mat's in the way. I need a bigger shop, guys. The shop is getting too small. Need more space. Right, you ready? <laughs> right, see how tight we can get on there. I'll try and get as tight to these tyres as we can. Ah, no, I'm useless. We need a SCX6 review, says Leo. Yes, we will do that. I've, I've ordered one. Ah, I'm useless. I'm using full brain power here, guys. Oh. oh, we're getting better. We're getting the hang of it. It's all about throttle control and steering control. There you go. All right, let's see what it's like on the more slippery stuff. I'm going to have to try and put you down with a tripod, though, because I, I cannot drive this thing with one hand. It's, just, it's not working. All right, I've got Raminator there, so maybe we can put it on the Raminator roof. All right, stay there. Don't fall over, camera. We have people watching. Do not fall over. What is going on with this? Ugh, what the hell is going on with this tripod? Right, let's go. Oh, it's a lot more slippery in here, but it's still controllable.
I think if I remember correctly on the other one, you could press a button somewhere and change the headlights. Ah, there, look. Press that button, look. So we've got the, the death rings on there. And then you press the button again, and we get headlights with the death ring, and headlights off. There you go. Lights off, it's so good it is. Alright, let's get the lights off and so good the headlights are. <laughs> I'm a man child. Can you see anything on the phone? Can you see anything? I can see where it's going. Can you guys see? Can you see or is it a big blur? Ha <laughs> ha, this works a treat. Look at that. Look at that. All right, get the light back on again. We'll get a couple of comments and then, then we'll see if the other car works once it's charged up. Um, it's still charging that one. Don't know how long for. Right. I'm gonna see if I can chat with you guys on my iPad. It wasn't working earlier. Come on, iPad, work. Yes. Right, we can get the comments on the iPad now. That makes it easier. <laughs> Name the monster truck Brandon. I <laughs> should do, yeah. They're probably going to make that phrase illegal at some point. They're probably going to say it's hate speech or something. Someone says 200 mile an hour project. Um, yes, stuff happening with that. Do you have any passive incomes? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I don't really believe that any income is fully passive, really. I mean, everything you've got to do a little bit of work on, I guess. Even if you rent out houses and stuff, you've got, still got to maintain them and stuff. How much is the RC car, says Mano. Uh, I don't know, but there's a link down below to it, dude. Well, there's a link to the one that doesn't work, which is exactly the same, by the looks of it. I believe it's exactly the same. I'm not promising though, because it might not be, but it looks exactly the same. It comes with the same stuff. The radio looks the same. It looks exactly the same. So once that battery is charged, hopefully it's going to work. Nick says, do you still sell on eBay? Yes, I do still sell on eBay. Not as heavily as I used to. I'm giving a lot more focus to my YouTube nowadays. Where is the SCX24 build? Um, yeah, yeah, uh, we've got to do that. <laughs> I'm trying to get the questions that haven't been asked before, because a lot of the questions come in exactly the same. You know, people asking about the monster truck and the Axial SCX6. Engine for the monster truck will be here next week, I've been told. Uh, the Axial, I have ordered, should be here hopefully in a month or so. So no gyro in drift cars. Well, these have got gyros in them, but they work better with a gyro off. All right, so that battery out of that one. We'll put this one to the side because we know that one works. So when we started, we had 50% in that battery. So let's plug this one in now and see. Have a guess. How much do you reckon's in there? Have a guess. I'm going to guess. I'm not going to say yet. I want to see what you guys say. How much do you reckon's in there? Oh, I was going to say 40%, but it's nowhere near that. <laughs> we are at 6%, but it still works on 6%. Right, 
that, that drained quite a lot off considering what we did there. This one here, 31%. SCX6 could probably tow your Lambo. Yeah, I think it would. A TOX4 did. Where is the VOX Cobra? Uh, upstairs somewhere. Ketchup or brown sauce? Oh, definitely ketchup. I don't like brown sauce. I've got a new drink here. I've got chicory with cocoa powder in it. Quite nice. Did you put it on 100% power? I don't know, guess so. Do you still have a Suzuki Jimny RC car? Yes. That is one big mug. Yes, if you have a look at this mug here. If you want, if you want one of these mugs, actually, I've got a link to my merch shop down below. And it's got those mugs on there and stickers and hoodies and stuff like that. But this is a normal size mug. And this is the mug that I drink out of. Size matters, don't let anybody tell you otherwise. That's why we're building a monster truck. And we're, we're, we're not compensating. <laughs> People still asking about the monster truck engine. I know you guys are desperate to see it. You can't be as desperate as me. Next week, monster truck engine will be here. Someone says Pfizer or AstraZeneca. <laughs> oh, don't ask me, I haven't got a clue. I loved a professional shirt. Yeah, I've got a professional shirt, but I've got the too small one. I've got to get a bigger one. Any thoughts on the Maverick Quantum? Uh, no, I haven't used one. What do you think of WL Toys 14011? Oh, I don't know. I don't know about numbers. Why does size matter? Because bigger is better. <laughs> when is X01 going to the moon? I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, it will do though. Are you vexed? <laughs> um, I'm not allowed to say, I don't think. I think if I tell you, I'll probably get my YouTube channel deleted. You're only allowed to say positive things about it. And if you say anything negative about it, you get your channel shut down. So I can't comment, I'm afraid. But you, you guys can guess if you like. Any opinion on LRP? Yeah, I like LRP. Where is the Wheelie King? Wheelie King is up there with a Chevy C10 body on it. The Drift Rally car has a gyro. Yes, but it works better with it off. Kev, we need to race the Mini Delta with my Mini Delta, says Dan. Yes, we can do that. We should get loads of us together that have got the same cards and have a little race. That'd be cool. <laughs> Bigger is better, better. Kev is turning American. <laughs> I think I should have been American, really. I like all the American stuff. Uh, RC Geek, you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> Which camera do you use? I'm filming on a iPhone 12. Did the Summit motor arrive? Yes, it did actually. It came here. I got it from URC. That's where I got it from. So check those people out. And that's the motor we got. Well, hopefully that's going to fit in there. I'm hoping it will. When are you going to Arc Raceway again? Uh, says Ninja Bros Gaming. Uh, don't know. We never really plan on on going. Uh, well, we, we just kind of go. Someone says, sort of, in our group, someone says, Are we go anyone want to go to Ark? And then some people say, Yeah, okay. And then we go. But um, we, we don't really plan it until really the, the night before, or well, sometimes even on the day. When do you get snow there? I mean, snow can come any time now until March. But normally we get like one or two days normally where we get snow, not much. Are you getting Outcast EXB? I'm not planning on. 
Kev, when are you coming to US for Monster Jam? When all the Rona restrictions go away. Um, I'm not wearing a muzzle. I'm not testing. I'm not, not, you know what, not doing that. So um, I guess until that lot's all gone away, if it ever goes away, I guess I can't travel. I've never seen snow, says Frank. Where are you from? Even Vegas has got snow. How many of your audience is from India? A lot, actually. Um, the, most people are from America. I can't remember the percentages. Second is usually India, sometimes UK, and, or sometimes the other way around. And then Germany. A lot of people ask me about a 203 mile an hour RC car. Something special is happening with that, hopefully, very soon. You should find out, hopefully, in the next few weeks. We don't get snow down under, says Finney. What? None at all. What's in the crate? Oh, uh, that is the engine. But they took a picture of it before they shipped it. So that's the crate that I'm getting, but I haven't got the crate yet. Uh, I think a few people assumed that that crate was already here, but it isn't. What about Nitro Crawler, says Brad? Yeah, we've got to get on that. How many watches from Sweden? I don't know. I can look in my analytics, but I don't know off the top of my head. What sounds are getting you this year? <laughs> it's Christmas every day. A nitro engine for the monster. That's one of the things that are coming from Santa. I'm from Florida, says Frank. Nice. I would love to go to Florida. Um, oh, this battery's still charging. All right, I'm bored of waiting. Let's see what the capacity is. If it's close, we'll, we'll run. Right, 70%. It has to run on 70%. If it doesn't run on 70%, I'm going to say the car's faulty. Right. Um, yeah, it's this one, isn't it? It's the UDI one. That's the one that's dodgy. That's the one that works. Right. right turn him on. Put, you, put the camera down so you can see what's going on. So I've just plugged in the battery, turn him on. No, nope, still don't work. Right, let's set the radio up exactly the same as the other one, just to make sure. So that all the way off, that there, that there, throttle reverse. Oh, maybe that was it. Throttle reverse. Yeah, I think it's faulty, guys. I mean, all the, all the wires are plugged into the speed controller. Kev, did you ever get burnt out from the hobby? No. Well, I did years ago because I used to, like, just go racing for the hell of it, even though I didn't enjoy it. No. No, all right, doesn't work. I'm going to change the link down below. Well, I'm going to add the other card to it as well. I mean... I'm sure most of these are going to be okay. I mean, quality control obviously sucks if I didn't test it. But there we go. That one doesn't work. That one doesn't work. All right, what time we got? All right, we're coming up to 8 o'clock here in the UK, so I'm going to call it a day in a sec. I will change the link down below to the other car, uh, even though they're, they're the same, really. It doesn't matter. Don't worry, Nick, I won't. I won't, Nick. Don't you worry about that. Don't you neither. <laughs> Definitely not falling for that, dude. 100% not. What kind of coffee is in there? This is chicory. Chicory with uh, cocoa. Look at, top it in on Amazon. But if any of you guys try this stuff on Amazon, it says on the on the bottle, on the on the jar, it says three teaspoons per cup. That makes it way too strong. I'll put one big teaspoon in here, and this is a big cup. So if you put like a half a teaspoon into a normal cup, you're probably going to be round, round about there. All right, someone says bind the controller to it. I don't know how you bind it. Does anyone know how you bind it? I mean, it is already bound. If it wasn't bound, it wouldn't steer, would it? I, would have, I wouldn't have thought. 
See, look, it steers, but it just doesn't drive. How do you bind it, guys? Let me know in the comments how you bind it, and I'll bind it. Where can I get merch, says Samuel Peters. Link down below. I think there's a link down below. There might not be, actually. But if you go over to my main channel, there's a link underneath all the videos. Time in the UK is nearly 8 o'clock. Kev, do you play Minecraft? I've never played it, and I've never seen anybody play it, either. <laughs> I'm not really a gamer, guys. Do you like Russia? I've never been there, dude, but it's got some really nice places from what I've seen. You sure about shift when wouldn't beat you to 203 mile an hour? He may well do. You will see soon. What engine have you chosen for the monster truck? Says Ainsley. Uh, big block Chevy. Uh, alcohol, supercharged. Uh, running at around about 1,500 horses. If we put a smaller supercharger pulley on it, uh, then I think it's a smaller supercharger pulley on the supercharger size or a bigger one on the crank side. That's going to overdrive it and we should be able to push it up to 2,000. But I've been chatting with Tony and he reckons I could probably get it up to about 4,000 if I put a bigger supercharger on it. But I was thinking of, you know, when we do shows, you're not allowed to run too much power. Probably something to do with safety. But when I build my own monster truck track in my backyard, when I get a backyard, uh, then I can put in a bigger engine. So I want to get it up to like maybe 4,000 horses. And, and like, you know, I said I want to build the world's best monster truck. I've got all the best components on it. I mean, why does not give it loads of horsepower as well? So we will do that. We will have the world's most powerful monster truck. Uh, but for now, it's got to be legal to use it in at shows and stuff. And then we'll get a second engine that we can be silly with. Now it's winter, are you coming racing in Patworth, says Lewis. Hey, maybe. Probably, actually, yeah. Why not? Well, how do we bind it? No one's telling me how to bind it. Let's see if the instructions say how you bind it. Maybe motor is bad, says Evan. Yeah, maybe motor or speed controller. I'm guessing probably speed controller. We might just not be set up, maybe. Will you do Monster Jam? Yes, I want to. We'll see what happens with all the restriction BS first. Maybe I won't be allowed to. But I want to. Is there a bind button on the ESC? Nah. Can't see one. Oh, so this is a speed control here. Oh, well, lucky we had it on full. So you can change the speed. You can go fast and slow. So we've got low 50%. Medium 75 and then full throttle there. We had them both on full throttle anyway. So when someone said, has it got a speed switch? Yes, it has on channel four. <laughs> I didn't know. Dude, have you tried calibrating the ESC? No, I haven't and I don't know how. I'm looking in the book. If any of you guys can tell me how you bind it or calibrate it, I'll, I'll give it a go. Have you used a gun? No. Oh, Peter, E. Peterson said the SX6 is not worth the price. Mm. If you put a smile on your face, it's worth it, isn't it? But All right, troubleshooting. Remote control car doesn't work. When battery is low, charge it, not that. Make sure the wheel or drive shaft is engaged. No debris, yep, that's done. Motor, motor may have reached expiration date. Replaced with the same motor. Oh, can't be that. It's new. Long frequency matching time. Signal is dis disturbed. Restart the transmitter. Not that. Operation delay. Make sure there's no obstacles. <laughs> Some of these things in here. Battery vehicle moves forward or backward automatically. It says reset the transmitter. Right, 
Well, let's do the start up as it says. So it says plug the battery in. Right, unplug that, turn the radio off. So it says plug the battery in. This is rocket science, guys. You've got rocket science going on here. So plug the battery in, press it for one second. One, right, so it's made a noise. So we've got the transmitter set to where it says, power switch on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that, guys. Right, frequency matching, maybe that's binding. Place model on level floor. Turn the power off the transmitter and indicator light will flash quickly. Do not touch throttle trigger when turning the power of transmitter. After the car power is turned on, transmitter and car will automatically frequency matching. No, it doesn't work. Oh, I'm doing it wrong or it doesn't work. I'm going to go with it doesn't work. That's what I'm going to go with. That's the easy option anyway. <laughs> If I charge it to 100%, no, it can't be that. If it is, that sucks. Because it works in that one on like 50%, so it can't be that, surely. But I, I will try it. I'll try it off camera. I'm not, I'm not going to bore you and do it live. It took 20... It took like the whole live stream just to charge it like 20%. Yeah, it Toss it to the moon, says Samuel. Yes, might as well. Maybe take it to hobby shop. Um, yeah, it's a bit cheeky, really, getting a Banggood car and taking it to hobby shop. If you're going to take a car to a hobby shop, then you should really get take the car to the hobby shop that you bought from there, really. Otherwise, it's not fair on the shop. Did you get the photo on Instagram of your truck? Mm, don't know what you mean, Mike. Get the hammer, fixes everything, yes. Link to chicory. No, just type it into Google or YouTube. Oh, no, um, Amazon, sorry. Bind it to the parts bin. Yes, I think that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a parts car. Someone says try the other controller. That's a good idea. All right, other controller. Oh, it works. <laughs> oh, we got the other controller and it works. So that controller must be faulty. It must be a dodgy acceleration thing on this one. Yeah, it works. There we go. I'm not going to bother driving it because it's going to be exactly the same as the other one. But it works. There you go. Dodgy controller. So it's alive. <laughs> we're all good. Well, we're not really that good. RC Bear guys, I told you. So I'm guessing it binds automatically every time you turn it on and off. There we go, it works. Someone says throttle trim. Yeah. I've got them both set the same, so. I no name for the monster truck yet, Mr. Drone Nut. Not yet. I see bears have saved a life. <laughs> How do you like RC planes? I'm not really into them, but I do have fun playing with them when I do occasionally. <laughs> How much wiring is involved with the monster truck? I'll show you. Let me show you. How much wiring is involved? Oh, hold on, hold on. So in here, oh, in here we have the wiring loom. So it's all already pre-made up. I've probably got to put ends on there and cut it down and stuff, but here's the bulk of it's done. So uh, Tony says it looks really easy, but I haven't got a clue of electric, so I'm going to... Hopefully Tony's going to help me with it, and but Tony said I should do it so that I know how it all works. And I think he's right, I should. 
But maybe I'll get Tony to do it and I'll watch. <laughs> and then we've got over here, we have... Where is it? Where is it? Ugh. We got this thing here, which is called a remote inter ignition interrupter. So you can shut you shut you off remotely. And here we got the start control panel thing. So we've got to mount all this stuff on the dash. But I've got some cage clamps coming, and they're coming with the engine because I don't want to weld all this stuff on. I want to clamp it on, and then we can always unbolt it if we have to. I've got to make a little bracket for this because it's sitting at the wrong angle. Still got to modify the little seat bits on there, but we're getting there, look. We are getting there, guys. We got it as a rolling chassis. We got all the drive, sh drive line working. Gearbox is coming with the engine. We got the transfer case on there, look. The seat is pretty much mounted. I've just got to mess about with the shoulder things to make them a bit tighter. I've got to make a little bracket to bolt the steering wheel onto the column there. And that's coming with the engine. Uh, will you do it all yourself, someone says. I'll do what I can myself. Can you show the steering wheel on the monster? There you go, dude. And there is the steering wheel. <laughs> we got the transmission callers in, we got the radiator in, we got the fuel tank in, we got the safety cutoff on, we got the sway bars on, the axles are all ready to go. Uh, we've got the hub off because we've got to send that off with the wheels. When they're going to modify the wheels, they need the hub, but they're going to cut this ring out and they're going to move it over because this doesn't fit over the hubs. So we're sending that away with the wheels so they can make sure that it fits. And when it all comes back, we can get that back on and get it rolling. Because when we get the engine in, we're going to have to get the forklift and do the forklifting from in there and then pull the chassis forward so we've got space to do it because there's not enough space there to get in there with the forklift. So we've got to try and move it with a wheel off. Either that or we've got to wait until the wheels come back before we can move it. But I'm thinking we can probably put a, a pallet truck and some pallets underneath that corner and then it should be able to move. All right, guys, we're going to call it it for this one. And I will see you guys in another live o, possibly tomorrow. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. So, uh, later, guys. Thanks for stopping by. And I will see you guys soon. And another video, not tomorrow, day after maybe, or Sunday. Yeah. All right, guys, later. Bye.